you guys welcome to my channel i am joyce tresor and today i want to show you a design team project from a good wounds happy journal spend day a um i'm working today with the nature pharmacy kit uh it has um uh, 18 pages of collage paper it cost four euros and 80 cents this is one of the collage papers uh, which i'm gonna use today and it has uh, four pages of uh, journaling cards uh, like these um, they cost two euros and 50 cents for four pages with different size of cards uh, these ones are smaller and uh, these ones are a little uh, wider um, i printed this on a uh, vellum paper uh, i hope vellum paper is the right word for this transparency paper and uh, also on a normal copy paper uh, what i like to uh, make today is an, uh, a specimen uh, little book a specimen book um, combining this uh, pa beautiful papers from Gudrun i'm using um, design paper from craft sensations bought at action store the botanic vintage um, and yeah that's actually what i wanted to tell before i go and start the project i guess uh, i will link the um the packages for for the uh, papers of Gudrun uh, down below in the description box uh, what I use is some uh, chipboard. I'm using this uh, leftover paper from a design paper block. Um, I cut those in two pieces of um, eight and a half centimeter by twelve centimeters, and two pieces of one and a half by twelve centimeters. Then I cut six uh, pieces of design paper from the uh, craft sensations block these are six times um, i have to see 15 by 11 do i say it right 15 centimeters yeah by 11 centimeters six times these i'm going to use for the um, specimen cards and I uh, cut six times um, craft cardstock, and these measurements are 18, 18 by 13 and a half, and one piece of cardstock which is 18 by 11 and a half. 11 and a half um, first I'm going to make one specimen card um, because it's six times the same process I will show you one and uh, the, the other one I do uh, off camera so the video won't be a very long and boring one first I go and score oops, score the piece on seven and a half centimeter i fold this what this piece and then i will cut a window in this uh, through uh, both layers on a half, uh, one centimeter all around so um the fold is on one centimeter and I cut from one centimeter to the ten. Turn this and cut from one centimeter to six and a half. A little. A little bit further then turn the paper lay it on one centimeter and 
again from 1 to the 10 centimeters. Turn and 1 to 6.5. If you think it's scary to uh, cut exactly in the corner, you can cut with your scissors through those corners. And so you have a window through both layers. So like this, a double window. I would like to ink up the edges on both layer of uh, on the inside of the window first. I hope you don't mind. It's raining really hard at the moment, so maybe you hear um, hear it through our windows. Perfect day to craft. So like this, um, the corners I would like to round with my corner punch. So, and now I can think of the outside as well. the other side. I am using a walnut stain distress ink if you are wondering but any ink will do will work I mean okay and then I'm picking one of the pictures which I uh, printed on the vellum paper And I glue these inside. There, there is a small, um, darker, uh, I don't know what to call, but I mean uh, this line. And the window I cut is approximately the same size. So um, the extra over here is the a place where you can put your glue um, I printed at a hundred percent by the way And now I can close this by gluing those two pieces together. Like this. And my first specimen card with these beautiful pink flowers is ready. I will... Um, set off the camera and make five more of these from the uh, the cards on this paper so i'll be uh, back soon well here i am back with my six specimen cards look how gorgeous they are i'm uh, really happy with it 
And now the next step will be the pocket pages. Um, now we need those uh, craft papers, for, uh, which measures um, 18 centimeters by 13 and a half. And I need my scoreboard again. On the short side, this, so the uh, 13 and a half centimeter um, to this line, I score at one centimeter. Turn it all the way around and on the other side also one centimeter score line. Next I score at the longer side, the 18 centimeter side at seven and a half centimeter. One and a half centimeter further, further is nine centimeters and again at ten and a half. So I have three score lines in the middle. Now I put the shorter side uh, through this line again and I cut all the way to the last uh, score line over here. So and also on the other side. So this centimeter is loose. And this centimeter is loose. The scoreboard again put away. And then I cut in the centimeter over here a little triangle on both sides. So this uh, strip of one centimeter gets loose. And you have a shape like this. I need my bone folder. All the score lines I fold the same way. So and now oops, I need some glue which I put on those centimeter strips over there and over here. And here we have those two uh, strips and one of them I got, I put some glue also like this. And then I fold it in half. And this is one pocket page. We have six of these papers, so repeat this uh, till you have six of those pocket paper pages. The pocket is over here. I ink up the edges. And this is one of the pages where you can put in one specimen card like this so i'm gonna repeat this five more times and i'll be back with you a little later and here i am again with six of those pocket pages put those aside and now we take the um craft card stock which measures 18 by 11 and a half need my scoreboard again and i score this on the 18 side every one and a half centimeter so a score line at one and a half one at three centimeters four and a half at six centimeters seven and a half at nine Ten and a half at twelve centimeters. Oh, this was wrong. Twelve is over here. Thirteen and a half at fifteen. 
and at 16 and a half. So now with one little mistake. This piece is scored at every one and a half centimeters. This I fold in zigzag, so in valley and in mountain um, fold. like this thinking up the um, mountain sides so and I set this aside now I need this um, collage paper and the chipboard pieces the gray board pieces uh, which were uh, two times eight and a half by 12 and one and a half by 12 two times um i cut my collage paper in two pieces of 14 by 16 so 14 by 16 And in on the back. Oh wait, I forgot to cut at fourteen. <laughs> and at the back, I glue those pieces of chipboard or gray board approximately two centimeters from the side so I need my um, double-sided tape um, this small piece I glue with a little gap of maybe two millimeters over here 
so now I put some double-sided tape all around the uh, chipboard like this I cut a little triangle in every corner, uh, not too close to the chipboard, so approximately three millimeters away from the chipboard uh, corner, like this. And every corner I do that, all the four. And now I fold over those edges, first on the top and the bottom, with my bone folder I push those corners in, and then I glue those flaps on the side. So as a present, a small present, I wrap those chipboard pieces and uh, the gap between those chipboard pieces I push in with my bone folder like this and also carefully on the outside so it can move. The same thing I do with the other two pieces. So I uh, glued everything together. What I forgot to tell is that you, uh, you put um, the bigger piece and the smaller piece in an opposite direction in the second uh, one. Uh, because it's becoming a front and a back cover. Um, the inside I uh, glue a piece of 8 centimeters by 12 to cover up uh, the chipboard like this. So I glue it over here and this one too. And now I need something to make holes. I have a crocodile. Maybe you've got something else to make holes. But um, if I make a, this one, um, I like to uh, mark with a pencil, which is over here. And in the one and a half centimeter piece, um, we make two holes. I choose uh, two centimeters from the side, from the top and from the bottom. In the middle of this two and a half piece. Taking my proper dial and punch a uh, the bigger hole in there like this now I line up those two pieces the back and the front cover and mark with my pencil so it came on the same height this and because I think it's more neat and beautiful 
I will put some eyelets in there. Um, so I need four eyelets. Now I need the zigzag piece we've uh, got over here. Um, the valley of the uh, mountain side is on the outside of this um, one and a half centimeter piece. So I line that up in the middle. Uh, half a centimeter is um, overlapping on the top and the bottom. And now I mark where the holes are. The whole piece is too much, so I fold it out. So I have three mountains and I punch a hole. where I'm, I got those marks. Now I fold it up again and mark again where the holes are. And now I can make holes over there. For now, there are holes in every layer at the same height. So it's looking like this. And then we need our pocket pages. And I put in one pocket page in between those layers. Mark Again, well, where the holes are, it's not <laughs> line up all those pockets, or maybe three if it's too thick. But I'm gonna try and punch them all together. Now I need some thread, uh, which I got over here. Take a big piece. You can always make it a bit smaller is it, if it's too big. Too long is better. Um, now I have the front. Go in. On the top and I've got the zigzag piece and in every uh, mountain there will be one pocket page and make sure those the hole is at the same Height, so you can put your thread all the way through. like 
this and then the back piece we go in through the top and we're again out through the bottom hole and now line up all those holes again on the bottom maybe I need a needle yeah I'm going to get a needle that makes my life easier <laughs> So like this, and then we can tie a knot on the outside to secure all those pocket pages into the cover. And the book with those pocket pages is ready. Of course, I'm going to decorate those pages and um, put my specimen cards in here. Maybe um, like this. And of course you can use those beautiful pictures to cover uh, the pocket pages or to decorate the pocket pages. So this is my specimen little book with the... Uh, Beautiful digital papers from Gudrun's Happy Journals Point DE, um, the Nature Pharmacy set. I hope you liked my video, ex um, my explanation on how you can make one for yourself is clear. If it isn't, please uh, ask. I will uh, be happy to help. Um, and I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye.